what is up guys it is Alex and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my CRF 50 that we finally finished building over <laughs> over two years it if you would have just tried to build it you know if you had the money it would have taken like a week or a few days if you know what you're doing but you know we had to gather the money gather the parts you know this bill is expensive not gonna lie so over the years we've done a few upgrades well not a few we've done a lot actually so first what we did was we put this bbr super pro big bore kit on here it's an 80 acc big bore and it came with a carburetor air filter top end pretty much everything to it and all we had to buy was the installation and we bought that from honda power sports they charged us like 500 dollars for it but we wanted to get it done right so we didn't have to screw it screw with it later because you know honda's the best to work with hondas <laughs> and then we put on we paired it with the yoshi exhaust it's a really nice system i really like it sounds pretty nice and then i wanted it to be like more of a wheelie bike so what we did is we put these pegs on we put the these back stunt pegs on we did the rear handbrake that's right there looks like a clutch but it's actually a handbrake and then we added on a shifter it's a little longer so i could fit my foot under it and then we added this chain guard right here so when i put my foot right here i don't like hit my foot really hard on the on that and like ruin my shoes whatever and then we put on a new chain sprocket kit because this is this is a 2004 honda so you know it got worn out over the years from the original owner so what we did is we kept the front stock at 14 then we changed the back one from a 37 to a 34 so i have more of a first gear it's a lot better for wheelies and it goes about 60 maybe a little less than that 57 60 around there and then i got the big bar kit the this is the bbr big bar kit not bbr what am i saying pro taper and it has a rental bar pad because the pro taper bar pad looked terrible on this bike so i just subbed it i don't care it doesn't really matter i'm not sponsored by a pro taper rental i'm not sponsored by anybody so you know i could care less i just wanted to look good for myself <laughs> And then we put on these sliders right here. So for when I crash, it protects the the good parts of the bike. You don't want to mess up like the bars, like, you know, stuff like that. And then like, you know, the bars are painted. And we also put on this metal throttle tube, like it's full metal because the original BBR, not BBR, why am I saying that? Pro Taper was terrible. It was pathetic. Like, I crashed it and it just snapped. I don't know how the throttle tube just snaps like that. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then we just got this full custom paint job. We got the forks done, frame done, that done, swing arm done, and the bars, as I mentioned before. So, basically, that's almost everything about it besides the plastics. We did a, the full UFO plastic kit ran about $120 really good and then graphics amrgraphics.com really good graphics they're thick really durable and that's basically this whole build all it has is the 12 bar coming later which I'll picture it later in the video peace out guys and watch the rest yeah yeah uh, most of the time when these people be talking I don't even hear them I don't they talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up. Same stuff, never changed up. Taking shots, get your aim up. Wanna play, get your game up. And I see you hating, so you know I gotta ask. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh, yo. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh, yo. I said, tell me what you mad for. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, yo. Yeah.